Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, it's G Forever. Yes, and we're here to review all three versions of Godzilla 1991, sculpted by Yuji Sakai and released by X Plus. Uh-huh, and we got all three, so let's go check them out. And here are three boxes. Yes, Godzilla 1991, sculpted by Yuji Sakai, and it's the Toho 30 centimeter series. So yes. the reason, yeah, the reason we're seeing three boxes is they made three versions. So the first one uh, without the outer box is the uh, standard version, which uh, you can purchase on uh, any uh, online retailer. There's a very special version, which you can only buy at the Godzilla store. And there's also a Shonen Rick Boy version. So oh, yeah. the Godzilla store version comes with this DVD, which was um, when Yuji Sakai was sculpting uh, this figure live uh, on Godzilla Fest. And we were, I think Heisenberg and I were watching it live um, there was not a lot of um, dialogue or, or much. So we were tuning uh, in and out between the two. I think there was a bunch of events going on that year. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So it says GS. So I take it GS stands for Godzilla Store. Godzilla Store. Yeah. So one thing, uh, unfortunately, I didn't show on camera is that it actually comes up a little, uh, little card by Yuji Sakai. He did a little doodle. And he, I think he said something like, thank you for being so patient um, in Japanese. And he had a little drawing of Godzilla. So it was pretty cool in his signature. Oh, great. So this one, this box says EX, which I think yep. that means, uh, yeah, the Rick exclusive version. It's got the big yellow Rick exclusive sticker. So here's all three boxes. Mm -hmm. And you can tell the difference. Uh, so the Godzilla store one has this blue outer line version. And uh, it has like some of the blue text there. Yeah, standard and version the standard, is the standard color. Pretty much, uh, yeah, it's uh, without anything extra. And the Rick Boy version is the same as a standard, but it has a yellow sticker. Oh, yeah, yeah. And as we'll see, it actually lights up uh, yes. the figure yep. itself. So, oh, yeah, there we go. So there's the uh, Godzilla store version on the left. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see we'll see how it looks. And we'll, we'll take a quick look of how it uh, looks uh, in the box here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, so this thing has a really long name. It's actually the Toho <laughs> 30 centimeter series Yuji Sakai modeling collection Godzilla 1991 Abashiri fierce fight figure. Yes. <laughs> Am I saying Abashiri right? Uh, let me see if I have the correct name. Um, Aba Abashiri. Abashiri fight. Yeah. So I tell you, that's from a scene in the movie. I believe this is the scene uh, where Godzilla and Ghidorah first uh, meet up on um, on the mountain scene when he just comes out of the ocean in Hokkaido. And uh, as we see here, Godzilla's eyes uh, are kind of looking up rather than uh, toward or looking down on uh, typical uh, figures. No, oh, interesting. And this cost so, yeah. roughly about two hundred and fifty dollars, though some mm -hmm. they weren't all exactly the same price, but they're all around that. Yeah. And even though it's 30 centimeters series, they said it's about 29 centimeters tall, which is 11 yes. and a half inches. Yep. So as a matter of fact, uh, usually the Yuji Sakai modeling collection is smaller than 30 centimeters. But uh, when I put this one uh, against the um, like previous 30, uh, previous Sakai uh, X plus figures, this is the largest um, that they have ever made. Um, so if it looks like the and the and it looks like uh, what they did was um, like the cast um, from the original. I assume it's a resin, uh, resin version. Uh, it came out to be uh, very very accurate uh, on this new vinyl version because the teeth are beautiful. They're nice and uh, sharp, very pointy. So I tell you, we're looking at the standard version on the left and the uh, Rick exclusive version on the right. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so it's uh, as a matter of fact, the, the standard and the Rick are very close. The only difference is if you look closely enough, you'll see the uh, back fins are clear. Uh, and the tail, as we see here, is actually different colored. So the, uh, the back, like the spikes on the tail, are more of like a whiter color on the Rick Voy version, and it's more gray on the standard version. But otherwise, I think like. Um, yeah, I wonder if that variation. It's just from like uh, like one painter to a, to the to uh -huh. the next because I, I take it these are hand painted, uh -huh. so I wonder if you'd have the same like if some if two if you bought two of the standard version I wonder if the mm -hmm. if the paint might look a little different on each one. Well, I'm guessing they went. 
yeah i'm guessing they went with the gray just to, uh and the I guess the white on the tail is probably just closer to the, the clear white on the oh, back fin. so i think that's why and if you look at the tongues the standard the tongue is closer to the mouth and on the rick and the uh, godzilla store one i think the tongue is uh is uh, up higher i don't know if that 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 might be a variation by accident that i'm not too sure i'm not sure if it was on purpose oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah looking but good but otherwise yeah otherwise the body i think the colors are very close and um, why did you decide to get all three so um godzilla 1991 there's a little story so i got version one by yuji sakai um and then i skipped to version two hoping that diamond uh would release it in the u.s because i didn't feel like paying the international shipping but then they of course decide not i think diamond ended the uh the import uh so i missed out on version two um so in this video we're just showing off the the tail color but um i missed out on version two and then in the aftermarket uh godzilla 1991 appears to be in uh heavily in demand where the price prices have skyrocketed to 700 to 900 us dollars um in the aftermarket so you know learning from my mistake i figured i'll get all three of them for now just in case um, so you were talking if, about some earlier version by you yeah because this is all these all came out just uh in 2021 right yes yes so you just like made uh like three versions of 1991 uh this third version has three different versions oh, okay uh, version version one is a closed mouth. yeah each version, one is a different uh, pose sculpt correct yep. yeah yeah different so, sculpt yeah so version two is the shinjuku version i believe um where he's i think he's in the shinjuku battle just okay like and, of, and again of course this is the uh, as we said this is the uh, abashiri fierce fight. abashiri fierce fight. yes so this is the one where he's fighting king Ghidorah. um and then i got the closed mouth one which is the hokkaido version um so yeah so that's so i'm, okay. I'm missing i'm missing the shinjuku version so yuji sakai sculpted uh 91 two previous times and you yes. didn't get all of them and then uh, yep. they ended up becoming extremely expensive so yes. you regret so so when this came along it looks like you pounced on it yes i made sure i because i really wanted the godzilla store version just because of the the uh the back fins are uh very different than a typical um godzilla figure it's uh they oversprayed the blue which is a little much but it's actually it looks nice in person um you know it's really more eye-catching than a typical uh you know gray and black uh godzilla figure it looks like you're getting ready to light up the uh, uh the Rick, Rick boy uh, Shana, version. Yeah, Shan, yeah, Shonen, Shonen Rick version. Shonen Rick, yep. So the Shonen Rick version, as, as you see, there's a little um, spot you can take uh, take out of his foot, and you can light up his back fins. So um, as you see, the the back fins are all different here. So so um, any recommendations now? Since you got all three, like any recommendations? If somebody's thinking about getting one of these, which which one they might want to choose? Yeah, I mean, I personally would go all, like go for the uh, Godzilla store version because um, it's just more unique in the collection. Has the nice uh, kind of blue color. It's a little a little much to be honest. It's I don't think Godzilla's back fins were that blue uh, in the movie. I saw it at your place when I was over there, and there's there's definitely no subtlety to it. It's yeah. just like hardcore, hardcore like blue spray. Yeah, but yeah. it looks nice. Yep. Um, if you want to go with something that's very accurate to the film, probably the standard is the way to go. Uh, the light up is fun, um, but as you see, it doesn't light up to the tail. It kind of stops where the back is. Yeah, just kind of in the middle of the back. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if it kind of reached down the tail a little bit, like a, a few more rows, I think it would it would look better. So um, I think originally I would go with like this uh, with the standard in the Godzilla store. Uh, but you know, just the Rick boy was very close to the standard in this in this case. So um, I guess it doesn't hurt to have the Rick version, um, you know, the Rick version. So it depends on what you want. If you like light ups, the Rick version actually uh, came out uh, not too bad. I don't think there was too much light bleeding. It was pretty. The light is pretty strong uh, for this release. Yeah, we're gonna see um, it. Yeah, it looks pretty good here. Yep. We're gonna see it in the and in we're the gonna see, see it in the dark coming up. Yeah, there it is. There yeah, it is. Look, yeah, looks, yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So in in the movie, like I think this this looks pretty good. Like uh, it looks pretty accurate. 
So in the end, I think the Rick Boy is probably the um, for collectors. It's probably one of the easier ones to access because uh, Shonen Rick does ship directly to the U.S. market, and I think they also ship to Hong Kong and Taiwan, uh, and of course Japan. So it makes it easy for collectors without having to go through a third party. Um, like the Godzilla store was the one that was the hardest to get because you can uh, unless you have a Japanese address. I think it was limited to one person per Japanese address. So even if you wanted to get it from a third party, um, you couldn't because uh, as if as long as that third party, if somebody bought one, they can't buy a second one for someone else uh, right. because they they send it to the warehouse and they, there's only one address for a warehouse. So um, so you know the Godzilla store was very hard to get. I think um, some of the uh, local retailers like Awesome Collector, I think they charged it. They marked up the price. Yeah. Okay. Now, who's on the right here? This is yeah. This is version yeah. This is Yuji Sakai's uh, version one, uh, the closed mouth. And you say you don't own version two. I don't have version two, unfortunately. Because yeah, you were hoping you were hoping it would be released in the U.S., but it was not. Yeah, but they didn't. So they stopped. I think that's the 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 one that they stopped uh, at, and then they just stopped importing um, to the U.S. from that moment on. I was very disappointed because the funny thing is. I probably imported all X pluses up till that date, thinking like, "All right, fine, I'll start. I'll start getting the diamond releases." And then they stopped it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the ninety one from uh, twenty seventeen, the the closed mouth uh, Hokkaido version, right there on the left, is, is still very good. But um, uh, seeing the version three, there's definitely a lot of improvements on the claws, especially the teeth. Um, and the feet, like they really made the the paintwork. Um, they upgraded the paintwork so it's more, um, more like uh, more realistic. But yeah, I think of the three, my personal favorite is this Godzilla store version um, because it's just so cool. It also comes with a DVD with a um, with a card signed by Yuji Sakai. So can't go wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, 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 and, yeah, and it gives some color on the shelf. All right, this is Heisenberg, and Chi Forever. Hope you enjoy. The X Plus 30 centimeter series, Yuji Sakai, Godzilla 1991, version 3.